everyone. My name is Amal Kala, and I'm currently studying in Oak Ridge International School, Bengaluru. I'm 13 years old, and this is Fabri, my personal project. Firstly, I would like to begin this presentation with a small quote. There's no such thing as away when we throw something away. It must go somewhere. This quote is by Annie Leonard, an American proponent of sustainability. One day, I went to my closet and realized there were many clothes that outfitted me or were out of trend, so I decided to discard them. But at that moment, this coat appeared in my mind. I realized, where exactly do all of these clothes end up in? Which led me to my final problem statement, stating, rapidly changing fashion trends and hyped up importance given to it is leading to a lot of discarded clothing in every household. This leads to environmental and other losses. Now, let me explain this mechanism through this process chart. Firstly, we have various raw materials that are used to create clothes. Then it leads to the different brands and creating that create and manufacture clothes, such as H&M, Zara, et cetera. These clothes go to the consumers who utilize and use clothes. After the consumers utilize these clothes, these clothes become overused, outfitted, or out of trend. And they land up in three main places. Firstly, they can land up in donation, or they can also re end up in recycling systems and recyclers. But the one place that most of these clothes are ending up in are landfills, which is causing the major environmental problem. Before I start my solution, I would like to tell you some stunning facts and graphs on the discarding of clothes. Here, you can see the discarding of clothes percentages. 57% of all clothes have been discarded in the form of landfills, and 25% have been discarded in the form of incineration, which is basically the burning of clothes. Only 18% of clothes have been discarded in the form of recycling or donation. Did you know that one garbage truck of clothes is dumped every two minutes? Around 92 million tons of clothes-related waste we discard every single year. It's almost enough to fill one and a half of the Empire State buildings every single day. Up to 7,800 kilotons of textile waste is accumulated in India annually. And finally, did you know that the world consumes about 80 billion new pieces of clothing every single year? This is 400% more than the amount we consumed just two decades ago. Now, the methods that I'm using to promote responsible clothing. Firstly, I have a poster of a clothes swap event that will take place on the 20th of July. So this is um, a small clothes swap event that is going to take place and there's an e email given if anyone would like to participate. My second method to promote responsible clothing is another poster for a clothing donation challenge. This is where if you have any used clothes, they can use these clothes to donate to the people in need. If they do so, they can download the link and get a special sustainable clothing dono badge. Now coming to my main solution. What is Fabri? Fabri is the solution to this problem. It's an application that helps to efficiently dump and discard clothes. It's a medium for people to easily discard their clothes in an environmentally friendly manner. This application will make discarding clothes a fast and quick process. Here, you can see my main branding and logo. It consists of three main colors, yellow, blue, and green. The B in Fabri has a three highlighted in red, as you can see, to show the three R's, recycle, reuse, and reduce. Coming to my target audience, the main target audience of this app is not focused towards specifics. This application can be used by all and everyone to efficiently reuse, discard, donate, or recycle clothes. These are the various customers, including buyers, donators, and sellers, as well as recycling centers and NGOs and charities. Now, what are the strengths of my application? Firstly, it encourages sustainable behavior by providing a platform to sell, buy, donate, and recycle clothes. It also reduces landfill waste because using this application, people can extend the life cycle of their clothes and reduce the amount of waste that ends up in landfills. It also provides a convenient platform for buying and selling used clothes. It promotes community involvement and raises awareness about textile waste as well. Finally, it also conserves natural resources. How? By recycling clothes, natural resources such as water, energy, and raw materials can be conserved. This helps to reduce the environmental impact of textile production, which is often associated with high levels of water consumption and pollution. 
Now, this might look a bit overwhelming, but this is the brainstorming that I had to go through to create my application idea. Now, to explain this in a much simpler manner, I'm going to show you this through various screens. Firstly, here you can see the consumer login page and consumer registration. Here, we have various details that the consumers have to put in to register. Then we have the recycler logins and recycler registration and the NGO login and NGO registration. The key difference is that recyclers have to put in their business details and certificates and NGOs have to put in their NGO details and certificates and also their logos and also the service coverage and address. Then they can uh, uh, register. Now coming to the main homepage. Here you can see various features and you can see banners, top deals, partners such as recyclers and NGOs, sponsors, and some drives. But the main four features are shown above here. We have buy, sell, recycle, and donate. Once you click on the buy feature, it'll lead to this page. Here we have five different features filters and um, all of these are the available deals for each of them. Once you click on one of the filters, it will specify to the specific deals that you want. Once you click on a product that you like, you can see the product description, product attributes such as color, size, cloth, purchase date, etc. And you can also see the seller information. If you like the product, you can add it to cart or directly go to the buy now page. This is the cart page which shows all the items that you would like to buy and you can select which ones you would like and you can check out. In the checkout page, you can put in your delivery address and we'll be partnering up with different third party deliveries such as a Dunzo, Delivery, Port Porter, WeFast, etc. And you can go to the payment page. In the payment page, you have various payment options such as credit card, UPI payment, internet banking, debit card, Paytm wallet, etc. Now, once you pay, it shows the order confirmation page. Now going to the second feature, sell feature. Here you can see the product listing page with all the different pictures you can put in of your product and you can put in the various details of the cloth or the clothes that you're trying to sell, which include the brand, cloth type, gender, size, made in, etc. But the main two details that you must include is related to any damages or discolorization. You can also add any sort of additional information you would like to add. And then you can list the product. Here you can see my listings page where all the listings can be shown that you have listed up on the marketplace. All of your listing will be listed here on the buy page, as you can see, and uh, they'll be be specified to their specified of filter like men, women, kids, etc. Now going to the third feature, recycle request or recycling. So you can make a recycle request for the clothes that you would like to recycle. You can put in your collection address and the collection time. Once you choose in from morning, afternoon, evening, a pop-up will appear to show your specific time requirements. Then you can create a request. Now various recyclers would um, try to connect to you to possibly get these recycle requests. So you can accept or reject um, based on your liking. Then you have the fourth feature, the final feature, the donation request or the donation feature. Here you can put up all your clothes that you would like to donate. You can put in your collection address like the recycle feature and the collection time, and then you can create a request. Various NGOs that are partnered up with us will uh, try to get your order by, and you can accept them by, or reject them as per your liking. Then we have my profile page. Here you can put in your profile picture and it'll show all your donations, sold items, purchases, recycles, etc. And you can also see your leaderboard and ranking, such as the donations ranking, recycle ranking, etc. Now, based on the number of donations, recycles, sold items, and purchases, you get some points called 3R points. With these, you can redeem various uh, sustainable clothes created by Fabri. So this can be considered as a benefit for all users. 3R, it's known as 3R points because it tries to emphasize on the 3Rs, recycle, reuse, and reduce. Now, if you do all of this, you'll also be a part of a sustainable community. So that's another advantage of doing so. Then we have various pages such as my purchases where you can see all your purchases, my listings, you can see all your listings, then your recycle requests and your donation requests. Now, finally, coming to my revenue streams. Firstly, we have CSR funding. Corporate social responsibility is the funding and grants process under which nonprofit organizations and company involving support such as Fabri can get financial and other support from the corporate sector. Then we have a buy and sell situation. Some percent of the transaction fee will be taken and deducted as a form of revenue. This occurs in a buy and sell situation. And finally, we have government backing and support. We can use government backing to receive funds to help develop the initiative and help in various sectors. 
Now, I would like to thank everyone for all their support. Firstly, I would like to thank Pranjalam and the entire Trailblazer team for all their help. I'd also like to thank Anjan sir for all his help for being my mentor. I'd also like to thank my family and all my friends and parents for all their support. Now, I would like to conclude by saying a small quote. Become a Fabry and make clothes landfill free. Thank you very much. Hey, Amu, how old are you? Amu, how old are you, man? Sir? How old are you? How old are you? Uh, I'm 13 years old, sir. Wow. I, wow. I, 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 I think, uh, Amu, you I have think uh, two systems going. Can you put one off so that we don't hear the echo? I think it's okay now. I think it's fixed. Can you hear me, Amok? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Well, no, I, I'm saying that, you know, I have heard so many pitches of startups and products and innovations and all of that uh, over the last few years. I'm telling you, I have not seen uh, 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 one that, that you've just made. You are shark tank ready, my boy. Really, fantastic. Well fantastic. done. Thank you. Um, it's not just the presentation, it's the whole uh, well thought through innovation. Uh, I could not find a single hole in terms of you've not addressed this or that. Okay. And, and um, uh, I think, I don't know what you said, your family supporting you and your friends are supporting you, but Anjan uh, Pranjal, uh, I think we should support Amok to carry this forward. I think it's a brilliant idea. Uh, there are many people out there who are doing similar things in the waste management space, especially in Bangalore. If you're in Bangalore, uh, they're quite successful. It's working. It's difficult, uh, especially from a logistics point of view. Uh, becomes very difficult because, you know, the whole collection part and then uh, the critical mass and, and, and all of that becomes an issue. But you should seriously try this. Uh, people will love to be part of this. I would love to be part of that. Uh, I do ensure that uh, all the clothing in our home gets somehow in, into that three hour cycle. I just don't know how to recycle. So one is we reduce, but we surely give away to especially people that, that are around us, right? I mean, we have so many people that we know which can do with a Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt, which is worn 10 times. And then it's not looking any good. But please, please carry this forward. It's a, it's a wonderful a thought through idea. You've, you've put in a lot of work. I can see that. I mean, some of those, Anjan, the, the product uh, screenshots that you saw, I'm telling you, <laughs> you know, not, no, not, not many good startups will be able to show what you, what you Absolutely. did. Absolutely. You know, really, really well done. Uh, I have no other suggestions, but just to carry this idea forward, make it happen, my boy. I think you have a wonderful clarity of mind uh, and, and you should be able to achieve this. Uh, don't leave school, don't be a dropout. <laughs> While you're doing school, build this business, right? I think it's easy. Don't worry about it. I think it's it. my don't time. Worry about time, time, my time. time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So Amog, uh, being your mentor, I, I should be really happy, proud, and I'm feeling that. Uh, what Sujil said, you are already Shark Tank ready. That's a big, uh, big compliment for you. Well done. But as I said, as a mentor, I would obviously see those few things that also need to be added to make it 102%, right? You are already 100%. You have put in data, you have put in screens, you have put in the prototype. The low fidelity prototype is awesome. Means I don't know if you have created the high fidelity one also, but maybe you have created and you have taken that screenshot. But few things I would like to, uh, because I was uh, telling you also about the Lean Business Model Canvas, and one of the most important there is the segmentation and the buyer profile, because that is very, very important. So when you are talking about uh, branded clothes, you know, India, there is a huge gap between the people who used reused clothes. There are a lot of uh, scope there. They may not be even aware of the brands. Now, when you are talking about brands that that getting um, into, into some kind of drives where people become aware through your app, that's a good thing. And you connected that also. You are going for two, two drives, which is going to make people aware of your app. And maybe the usability of that app will uh, be there. And people will join your uh, team and try to uh, uh, make it good for the environment, right? Because that is what is the final purpose. And also create the business. 
But beyond that, there is a huge amount. Of, you know, I do not know if you have already bifurcated that or not. In the landfills, how much cloth goes from the branded part and how much from the non-branded part? Because there is a huge amount of clothes that come from outside and they are bought by people and they are thrown into the landfills. So that is one important thing. So one important thing also is getting a trusted partner. Like you use the word decathlon. No, suppose decathlon is a trusted partner for your campaign. What happens is the buyers immediately know that there is something that they can trust on and, and they can online do it. Because as a customer, I can buy a mantra product online. When it comes to me, I return it. If your return increases too much from the buyer, then it becomes a big ROI issue, right? The investment that you are going to put in. So how to make that trust happen? That is very, very important in the business model. So our trusted partner is going to help a lot because they might have sanitized it. They might have made it something. I'm talking about the buyer who is going to use it, the use clothes. So the psychology of that buyer is very, very important to understand. And if you have done that, you have cracked the whole thing. Take, taking one step at a time to reach that level where one of the SDGs is managed by your solution. I think those, those things were all that I could do to you. Already that great pitch that you had. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, two uh, last points, Pranjal, before uh, we close uh, this. So Amok, uh, uh, you had buy, sell, and recycle and all of that. There is another one which you should think of. And this is really just a top of the mind idea, which is the rent part, right? Already people are renting out clothes. You know, when when uh, you have to go to your school, uh, whatever that fancy dress competition, you go to a shop, you dress like Superman and, and you rent out clothes, right? So here, if somebody has to uh, discard clothes, right? Then if somebody uh, brings in a rental model of that, saying that, okay, let's pass it on as a rental model, okay? And the rent of that will go to some foundation as a social thing, because then you will say, who is the owner of that rent, right? Who gets the money? So let it pass on from one. So you, you have a beautiful jacket uh, that you just bought and you put on weight because it was Diwali and you ate a lot of laddus, you know, and now it doesn't fit you. And that the jacket is, is a beautiful tuxedo or a leather jacket. I would rent it out and say that, you know what, instead of, instead of just letting it sit there and thinking that someday I will be as thin as my jacket, which will never happen, okay? <laughs> Then, then I would rather rent it on and feel good about it that the rent is going to some foundation which is making a difference. So think about that, right? Uh, just top of the mind as you were talking, I, I thought about it. The second is that you have a, a, a beautiful diction and you have a fantastic narration, right? So please think about also giving a voiceover to videos, right? Because when I was watching this, I was only looking at your screen, I could not see you. So I was hearing your voice and, and all of these videos that are out there, you know, which is either YouTube, Instagram, which are advertisements or, or just videos made for video say, uh, they need voiceover artists, right? And most voiceover artists think that voiceover is all about uh, good English. No, it's not. It's much more than that, right? And you have that much more than that. So think about that, put yourself out there saying that, hey guys, do you want my voice for your video? Yeah. You want to be surprised? Yes, sir, for sure. You want to be surprised. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. On that note, Amok, that was a wonderful presentation. Just like all the panelists, we've been mesmerized and we congratulate you for this amazing clarity and pilot that you really built for a product that the world today does require. On that note, uh, Sushil, sir, and Anjan, sir, thank you for joining us. But before you, uh, uh, you know, bid us a goodbye, we'd love to hear a one line, um, you know, your feedback on how did you, was your experience as a mentor on the board of the Trailblazer Fellowship and how you've seen the culmination of the first cohort? And there's only complaints, Pranjal. We, I got, I got too much less time. I got too many less students. I could not learn so much from the students. Like I've learned from Amok the way uh, he presented, right? So my complaint is that uh, you have given it very easy to us. Uh, next time, please load us with much more than what you've done. Thank you so much. Thank you.
But Pranjal, it's it's honestly saying it's not about we giving our feedback. It's learning also, as she rightly said. And uh, the small amount of time that I've been part of this, and before this, when I met you also, it's an awesome uh, journey that you have started, and it is going to help this country a lot. And all the students and teachers, mentors, mentors are teachers, right? We are also learning continuously. When we stop, we are dead. So great effort, really good. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, once again to uh, Sushil sir and uh, Anjan sir for being uh, a committed uh, mentor on the Trailblazer um, you know, mentor panel, giving their time for this. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for this uh, segment of the presentation. Angel, again, I mean, my, sorry, my ideation keeps working, unfortunately. So, so what, I know this is your pilot, uh, but as you progress, I think you should buddy up international students on projects, right? So Amog working with an African student, uh, Amog working with a, an American student, they all have the same problem, right? Uh, there will be huge diversity uh, as long as the passion project is the same. So, so think about uh, an international program where you form international teams around this passion project. Thank you. That was a wonderful insight. Thank you so much. And with your committed support and mentorship, I'm sure these kids and us, we can take them ahead. My